Hey guys, today we're going to do a quick walkthrough of the Xtool RA2 rotary module. I use this module for my Xtool D1 Pro. Laid out in front of me are all the different pieces that come with the RA2 module. So I'm going to go step by step and talk about each one of them. First up is the Xtool rotary attachment RA2 user manual. This is something that you'll need to read before you watch this video and before you mess with the rotary attachment to. I want to try to follow this booklet throughout this video. Next up is the actual rotary attachment. This is what houses the motor and makes the rotary spin. Next up is the support module. This can help you level out your cylindrical engravings. You can rotate the top left or right to make the support go up or down. The next support piece is the tail module. This is used for more spherical engravings, such as a Christmas ornament or a baseball. Up next is the jaw chuck. This is what helps you clamp down on certain types of objects. You can also rotate the teeth behind the jaw to increase or decrease the size of the jaws. Here are double step jaws, but it also comes with single step jaws. Here is the size difference of the single step versus the double step jaws. The rotary band grabs onto the teeth of the jaw chuck on the back and connects to the motor of the support module and rotates it. And lastly, we have some tools such as this little screwdriver and hex key, a mini level to use to level out your projects, and a small tape measure to use to measure the length and the width of your projects. Next I'll try to go over the pieces of the rotary attachment to. First is the motor, followed by the device connection port, then the adjustable roller and the roller stands, followed by the slots at the end that hold up the roller, on the bottom, there's padding to ensure that your module does not move during the engraving process. And lastly, the fixed roller is on the far right side closest to the motor. We'll start off by decreasing the width between the rollers. So to do that, we need to flip the module to the bottom. That way we can see the small screws that are holding up the roller stands. So unscrew both screws. Once you get that done, the adjustable roller will start to fall off and the stand will come out of its slot. Remove the stand and the screw. Then just twist the adjustable roller counterclockwise until it moves to the B position. Then go back to the bottom and reattach the adjustable roller stand. Place it in the slot and put the screw back in the bottom. Flip the module back over and you'll notice that it's secure and smaller than it was originally. You would just repeat that process once more to move the rotary to the A position and make it even smaller. Up next is one of the simplest things and that is how to use the support module. Just line it up at the end of the module where the middle of the two rollers is in line with the B. Then add your glass or cup, bring out your level, and turn the wheel left or right to make it go up or down. Then you can ensure that it's level to make the perfect engraving. Next, I've already removed the C adjustable roller, so I'm going to remove the A adjustable roller as well, which would be the fixed roller. After I have all the adjustable rollers removed, then I can start adding the jaw chuck. So you'll notice sticking out of the back of the module, there's a small roller with teeth. This is what you apply the band on to add the jaw chuck. Make sure that you apply the band on both the teeth of the jaw chuck and the back end of the roller before you add it to the two holes on A and B of the module. 
Once you have it in the slot, you can go ahead and screw it down. After it's good and tight, you can use the jaw chuck key to open and close the jaws on the jaw chuck. So here I'm opening the jaws and then turn it the other way to close them. This helps clamp down on whatever type of material you are using. Here is a quick example of me using the double step jaw components to clamp down onto a glass cup. I can also use the single step jaw component which would give me a larger enclosure area and help me grip onto the object better. Here is what the cup looks like rotating using the double step jaw components. Next, I remove the jaw chuck. I'm going to remove the double step jaw components and replace them with the stud components. I need to unscrew each one of the small six screws on the jaw component. Once I have those removed, I can screw in the stud components. They are easy to screw in where the jaw component screws would normally go. You can screw in all three of these to work on more spherical types of material. Then you would re-add the jaw chuck to the A and B slots like we have done before. So I've sped it up a little bit. Once I get it secured down, I can add the tail module. As you can see at the bottom of the tail module, there's a little screw where you can tighten or loosen the tail module on the plate of the rotary module. So once I get it in, you can see this little screw and I'll tighten it to make sure that it's good and tight and not going anywhere on the bottom of the plate. And then I can add the type of material I want to engrave. So let's say I want to engrave my name on a baseball. I can insert the baseball between the tail module and the stud components. Once I tighten up the tail module, then my X tool can rotate the baseball clockwise and counterclockwise. Now I'll just do a sped up video of me removing the jaw chuck and re-adding the adjustable rollers. So once I had the jaw chuck removed, I can put in the first roller and screw the roller stand onto the bottom of the module. Then I get the fixed adjustable roller and add it to the module and screw it in tight. And then I can add the connection cable to the motor. Then remove the connection cable from under the start button in the switch panel of the X-Tool laser engraver. So I've removed the old one and added the rotary tool. And here's what the rotary tool looks like with all the different available pieces. Hopefully you found this video very beneficial. If so, please subscribe and leave a like. Then if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Now go have fun laser engraving.